Hello, Simon. How are you? Good morning, Pamela. I'm very well, thank you. And thanks for having me on today. Um, I understand you've been locked down for some months, but the last month or so, it got much tougher. Can you please give us an overview of what the case numbers are, what the vaccine rate is like, and what life is like dealing with the challenge in your city right now? Well, Pamela, I would have to say that these last four months have been the hardest 15 years of my life. And then um, in April, Delta arrived. And I think unfortunately what happened was having dealt with the previous outbreak so successfully, the government applied the same playbook. Uh. The player was different. And the massive transmissibility of Delta meant that it just started ripping through uh, and, and infecting people. And then uh, on the 5th of August, the government implemented three on spot for factories because the case numbers just kept growing. What does that mean? Three on spot meant that if you ran a production facility, your workers needed to live, work, and sleep in the production facility. So what the government was trying to do was to stop the movement of these staff to and from, you know, across provinces, across wards, across districts. You could still go out shopping two times a week. And then a month ago, there was a new edict, I just call it DEFCON 3000, where we couldn't even go shopping. So we're now all locked inside what our apartment. What warning did they give you? Did they give you a 24-hour notice? Uh, they did gave us 24 hours notice. Hmm. So possibly... Simon, can I ask you, what is the vaccine story there? How far along is the nation in terms of vaccinating its population? So currently we're fully vaccinated at a rate of 10%. Across, across, the, across the nation. Mm -hmm. However, the government is concentrating on areas of economic importance and population density. So yeah. Ho Chi Minh City and its surrounds produce 25% of the economic wealth of the country. Uh -huh. Having us shut down has not been good for the economy. Yes, that Simon, what about good. your um, the people in your supply chain? How are they being affected by this, the, particularly your customer group and also where you get your product from? So it's been, a, it's been an up and down uh, impact from the people who are supplying us raw material. Same thing, they have to have people living, working, sleeping in their warehouses. And then because they're making deliveries, there's that increased risk yeah. of, of infection have been delayed on the wards uh, and the ports to get product in as well. And then if we go downstream to our customers, there is a limit to of only 40% of your workforce that you can have living three on spot. So it has greatly reduced the, um, the production rate of businesses. Is there um, light at the tunnel? Is there a horizon? Does the government have a date by which they want to have everybody vaccinated? Can it, what's what's the picture looking forward? So there is a problem on vaccine on vaccine shortage. That's the, the, the big uh, the big issue in Vietnam. The government's done um, the job that they could to get the vaccines that they could. <laughs> if there is one thing that has made me angry in this experience it is to listen to the entitlement in australia and new zealand of the equivocation of i won't get a vaccine and i don't have to get a vaccine don't make me get a vaccine people are dying here because they can't get a vaccine now the australian government as an example committed 1.5 million doses of astrazeneca so far 410,000 have been delivered we need the balance. Simon, um, can we just tap into your um, uh, role as the president of Austrian Vietnam? Would you just share with us how the other um, Australian businesses and Vietnamese businesses that belong to this um, international body, how are they faring? Uh, look, a very good question, Pamela. And the easiest way I can describe that is saying that COVID has created a business ledger and you're either on the right side of the ledger or the wrong side of the ledger. And mm -hmm. there just doesn't seem to be any middle ground.